In your Flutter Web project, you are able to choose your Flutter Web renderer. So can you guess which renderer is this? Well, this is the Canvas Kit renderer. And the next one is pretty straightforward. It is the HTML renderer. So for the Canvas Kit, it is using Skia rendering engine. And this actually makes your Flutter Web to have a faster performance like Flash. Not really. Flash is dead. Uh -huh. But with a big download size of 2 megabytes. If you want to have a smaller download size, you can use the HTML renderer, which is just HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Canvas elements, and SVG elements. So I've explained a little bit more in detail in this video. So the thing is, your Flutter web project has a default renderer, which is called Auto. Auto? Auto. Okay, whatever. So what the auto renderer does is that it uses the canvas kit renderer when it is in the desktop view. And the HTML renderer is then used when it is in the mobile view. And most of the time, we are using the canvas kit renderer because we are using desktop or laptop sized machines to do our debugging. Unless you have no money, so you only can code on your mobile phone, which makes you a little bit insane. Or insanely good. However, there is one problem. If you were to use Emoji on your Flutter web project, it uses Canvas Keep Web Renderer. And the thing is, it's not able to use your emojis. And it only shows you a rectangle with a cross in the middle, which is pretty ugly. And that's really not exactly what we want. So the problem now is that the emoji is not rendered in Canvas Kit. Therefore, I have actually two solutions. So the first solution is don't use emojis, which is a really sad thing because emojis are cute. The second solution will be to run on the HTML renderer. So great, I personally would choose the second solution because emojis are really relatable. So the question is then, how do we run HTML renderer? So well, there is also two solutions. So the first solution is to run the Flutter web project using HTML renderer on the command line. However, you will not be able to take advantage of your IDE features like your breakpoints. For solution number two, you can customize your IDE launch configuration to run only on HTML renderer. And for me, as you might know, I will choose the second option because I would like to customize my IDE and use the IDE features, for example, like breakpoint. So I'm going to show you on how you can customize your IDE launch configuration using the two commonly used IDE, which is the Visual Studio Code and Android Studio. So let's get started with the Visual Studio Code demo. So I have with me here a simple blog using Flutter Web. But as you can see over here on the top right, these are actually emojis. So this developer blog is part of a provider course that I'm building. If you want to be updated, subscribe to the newsletter down below. So what we can do is inside your Visual Studio Code, let's go to our Run Session icon over here. Click on it. Then you will see this tab on the left. So what we can do is we can click on the top where you see no configurations and then we're going to add configuration. So this will automatically create this file that is called launch.json. So this launch.json is a file will have our different configurations and by default, we will have this simple configuration. So we are going to create a configuration that allows us to run our HTML renderer. So what we can do is we can just copy this configuration and then paste it below. So the first one over here, the name. So what the name represents is the name of the configuration that appears on the drop down menu. Or you can see the bottom at the IDE over here. So we're going to name this Flutter Web Renderer HTML. So for the request, we're going to make it default. So what launch means is that we're going to start our debug session for our Flutter web project or our Flutter project. And lastly, the type is basically the type of configuration of the debugger. So we will have the Dart debugger from our Flutter extension or the Dart extension. 
And lastly, we're going to make use of this thing called arguments. So you type in ARGS and these are the different arguments. So inside the Flutter documentation for the web renderers, we need to run this simple command line, which is the dash dash web dash renderer HTML. So these are the simple arguments that you add in for your Flutter run command. So we don't have to put in the dash D Chrome. We just have to add in these arguments. So what we can do is we can just copy this line where we will have the web renderer and the HTML. And then let's add in a string and paste this as such. So the thing is for the arguments, it doesn't accept any white space or empty space. So what we can do is we can separate them using a comma and putting it as an individual string. And that's it. So let's save this and let's stop the debugging session. So how do we then run our new configuration? So what we can do is we can go to our debug session over here and then let's click on the drop down menu and you could see there is this new configuration Flutter Web Renderer. Now we have configured it to our new configuration and let's try running it and see if it works. So how do you know it works is basically you will see the emoji. All right, so once done, you could see that the emoji has been rendered correctly. This is because the HTML is able to render the emoji while the canvas kit is not able to render the emoji because it's an ongoing issue. So if you want to use Android Studio, then I'm going to show you on how you can run the Flutter Web HTML renderer through the configuration. So I have the Android Studio open. So how would you do this is you could see there is this add configuration button over here. So let's open this. So what we can do is we can click on the plus button over here and we can go to the Flutter configuration. And then we will type in the name Flutter Web HTML Renderer. And then for our Dart entry point, we are going to choose our library main.dart over here. Press OK. And then for the additional arguments, you can paste what we have copied earlier. So for this additional arguments, the difference is that you can just paste as such. And that's about it. So we can apply and press OK. And now you could see that a new configuration has been selected. So let's run this. And you could see at the top right hand corner over here, our emoji has been rendered nicely. So in summary, we learned how to create the Flutter Web HTML renderer configuration for our Visual Studio Code IDE and also for our Android Studio. If you want to learn more about Flutter Web, I have actually courses that teaches you on how to create a developer portfolio that can be rendered on a mobile view and a desktop view in Flutter Web and another course where you can create a simple landing page with Flutter Web using Firebase, the link in the description. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this video, subscribe down below and comment down what configurations you have added in your Flutter projects. Stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.